Thank you very much. It's great to be here. Uh, great to hear the message from Heather and the, and the uh, president on these issues. Uh, as was noted, I'm a member of the Federal Energy Light Board, Commissioner and Minister from Commissioner Mulder. I like some of the things he said. Uh, let me first thank you uh, for what you're doing. It's clear to me that if we're going to address the issues we have to address in our energy future, that the answers lie in, in innovation and technology. And not doing just more of the same, extracting more resources uh, than we've been doing for over a century. But America's success has always been uh, largely driven by uh, innovation and technology. And that's what I view energy efficiency and renewable energy and all the things that are on display in this room and all the ideas going around the heads in this room. And it's really about, to me, it's not energy efficiency factor, right? And renewable energy is factor. It's about using our energy more wisely to address a, a, and accomplish the most efficient transition to a new energy economy as we can and also address the increasing environmental concerns around the production of energy or electricity. So that's what I view one of our key roles at work is to help manage this transition in the most efficient way possible. Uh, how are we doing that? Uh, just today, this morning we had our number of issue meeting. We, we uh, voted out a notice of inquiry on ancillary services and with a particular emphasis on storage technology. Because that is a whole new factor in the equation uh, for utilization of renewable resources and more efficiently managing our energy resources. Storage, I believe, has a, is a game changer for us. And I was proud that we learned about that just this morning to further our efforts to bring our policies and our practices in line with the challenges of the future. And just as our policies and practices have to be transformed in the challenge of the future, so does our infrastructure. As I've often said, we have an electricity infrastructure in this country that, for the most part, is eligible for membership in ARB, which means it needs to be replaced. But what a prime time to, to develop and deploy all new technologies that help us manage this change in energy system in the most efficient way possible. Is as we replace that aging infrastructure, which has been needed to be replaced and updated for several years long, then we deploy the latest technology we can to enable us to use our energy more wisely. That includes the maximum possible deployment of energy efficiency um, technologies and, and ideas, uh, along with renewable energy, along with building a transmission grid for this century and beyond that connects us to our valuable renewable resources. For our low centers. What we're also doing with our proposed rule making on transmission planning and cost allocation. So that we're planning a system that delivers the most efficiently priced and produced electricity renewably in this country as possible. So I just want to note those couple items today. Uh, take notice of our proposed rule making on transmission planning and cost allocation, and the Commission will be acting on that hopefully in the near future. I believe that's the next step forward. Possibly, probably takes the first engagement or ability to, to move this transition forward slightly to the end of our jurisdiction. Which leads me to well, when I close on that is, I think you're doing all you can in this room because you see the vision that we all share for a more sustainable energy system and using and making that transition to a more sustainable energy system in the most efficient way possible. I believe we do that as well in first. Uh, example being, two last they talked to you about the storage inquiry, um, a number of other things we're doing on, on frequency regulation, on transmission planning cost allocation, on demand response and demand side resources, uh, creative deployment and utilization of demand side management. What I think we're begging for, however, as a society, as a country, is clarity on the goal and policy. Because while we all share this vision, and I believe, in fact, I just pulled out just out of the political magazine yesterday as an example that probably, probably what you find every day throughout the energy sector. This is a statement by a spokesperson for ExxonMobil. The paragraph says, we think it's inevitable 
that governments are going to put a price on carbon. As I talk to executives for utility companies and everyone in this utility space, really everyone is going forward with the presumption in their planning and strategies that at some point there will be some type of carbon cost for energy. The problem is that we're all moving in that direction. We're, in my mind, not doing it in the most efficient way possible because as a nation we fail to enact the energy policy that says that's where we're going. Now, American innovators get it there. Here's what I can say right now. What we can do for the nation is the first step forward and say this is our policy and actually going forward. So we know the path, we know the goal, we know the policy and act to help get there. And there's no doubt in my mind because the people like you in this room will get there in the most efficient way possible. So keep the pressure up. Keep your presence here in Washington. Uh, to let policymakers know that we are up for this challenge, but we are in need of some long-range policy decisions on energy in this country by folks like by this building others on this street. Uh, we will get there more efficiently if we have the courage to make the long-term decisions. Thank you very much.